start out with the old basic ultramarine and uh, burnt sienna or old sienna in it. And we'll just start laying it in and it will run. Boy, that did get gray, didn't it? I'm going to add a little bit warmer old sienna in there to it. Here's going to be some of our cloud area right back in here. It turned pretty dark on me, but I think it'll work just fine. And you notice I'm coming all these trees. Don't worry about those. And now I'm simply going to pick up a damp brush and soften some of these edges. Let some of that come down in there. Leave some pure white up in there and come across. This is going to run on down. We'll warm it up a little more even with some uh, a little yellower color like Rossi in a. Then we'll come down toward the bottom here with again a variety of color and these clouds see these cloud shapes are going to stay up in there I may have too much color in there so I'll take a little bit out here with a thirsty brush and the way I do that thirsty brush is to wet the brush thoroughly and then take the color out of it with a piece of towel paper towel and then it lifts the color rather than putting color down I'm going to get rid of those real white ones in there they're a little bit too white I should have had some more in there maybe, but we'll lift a, a little bit more. That thirsty brush really works. See, just a wet brush, cleaned, and take the moisture out of it. Cloud up in there that's kind of floating above everything. And that's going to be our sky. Stretched paper. I have an enormous amount of time to work without getting these runs and rings in it. If you start on dry paper and your timing isn't just right, you'll get these runarounds. You know what I'm talking about. So with stretched paper, you usually don't get that. The first thing you want to do is to do your drawing on dry paper. Now you will wet it. After you've completed your drawing, you will soak this paper. And the thing to remember is that you can't get too much water on it. You can actually put it in a bathtub of water if you want to, or a big sink if you have a sink. And there's a little color in this water. It's a little dirty. And that's so that I can see where I'm getting it nice and wet. And stretching really is, is a misnomer because there's no stretching of the paper. We're simply soaking the paper, getting it soaked and wet. Now on this side, then I'll lay it back down on my gator board. Now then, this is the side that I had already wet. And I'll come back with some more water in it and get this color off of here that's coming off the edge of my gator board. I should wash this gator board, shouldn't I? This is a very old gator board. Now then, we're going to let it soak for about 10 minutes. Well, it's been about 10 minutes now, maybe 15, since I soaked both sides of this paper. And we still have the side up that has the drawing on it. And if you'll look closely, you'll see where these bubbles have risen in the paper. With a nice wet brush, you lift the paper all the way up to where the last buckle is and then you wet the backing board while laying the paper down. That should take the bubbles out. It didn't quite get that one right there. I'm going to go back to that right there. Let's do the same thing over here. I see one more little bubble over there. So I'm going to wet this backing board. And at the same time, I'm going to give it that with the brush. Now then, it looks flat to me. So the next step, this will sound really funny because the next step is to take the water away from the paper. So what we're going to do is lay paper towels over the paper and take the excess water off the surface. Then we'll be ready to paint. Now I've already torn my paper towels. I'm ready to put them down on the, on the paper. And I simply start right here at the top and just lay the paper towel over the painting paper and the gator board. And I keep these, I keep these paper towels. I just hang them on the back of my little studio chair. And with your finger, with your hands flat like that and a great deal of pressure, you just start rubbing this and move that very top sheet down just like this. Then I lift all three of them off and there is my paper stretched laying on the gator board.